Okay, hello everybody and welcome back to the channel or oh, hello there, my one lovely faithful viewer uh, Just a quick note on the first film, Venom I mean, I, so you know where I'm coming from with the second one I really, I really didn't like it I thought it was pretty bad and it was still only an hour and a half as well it's just nothing happened in the film really worth watching i haven't seen it after obviously it came out a while now i just haven't felt like watching it again i, I really couldn't care less uh tom hardy was all right in the role uh well to be fair i i did like tom hardy in venom the best part of that film was no doubt the relationship between venom and uh Eddie Brock, Tom Hardy, and that definitely carries on into Venom 2. So, is this better? I mean, yes, but does that really say all that much on the film? I mean, I really don't think so. Uh, yes, it's better, but I still really, honestly, wouldn't feel like watching this again. Again, I just, I don't feel anything worth watching again in this film nothing just all that interesting happens there is no like standout scene there's no like a apart from the end credit scene which i'll talk about a little bit later i feel is the only thing worth watching just, honestly i just if you haven't seen this film just i really don't watch it save yourself the hour and a half uh the opening sequence felt like it was wanting to be more epic than it was uh like it happened you know things were happening on the screen first couple of minutes or whatever and then all of a sudden like the title hits like venom let there be carnage like a bit of thud behind it and that and i was just sitting there like oh all right okay it just nothing in the film was all that impactful and that really comes i think with a bit of an issue from the R rating, uh, I, I really think that hindered the film a little bit, um, for sure. Do you need blood and gore and violence and all that? I mean, I suppose not, but I, I would argue in some films, definitely yes. When you're trying to show something to be like a, a huge threat, I think, I think you kind of do, and you just don't see carnage cause any real like carnage. It cuts away from everything. The most that you get to see from him, like damage that he's caused is in hurting someone is sticking his tongue down the throat i mean he gets raised as like out of his tentacle things and all that but again when he's like literally like there it just it cuts away and it doesn't show you anything and i feel a bit of blood and all that really could have helped you literally i don't think you say him kill anybody it all just cuts away and it's just no good really about that i, I didn't like that at all and one thing with Tom Hardy is Eddie Brock in this film. I don't know another way of putting this really. I just he's a bit of a he's a bit of a simp. I'm sorry, I don't know another way of putting it. It's like the relationship with him and his and his ex girlfriend, I presume. It's just like, dude, like really, you know, get a, you know, it just it really just didn't work. With Woody Harrelson's character, uh, Cletus Cassidy or whatever, I think he done all right, to be fair. I've seen a lot of people say they didn't like him. Personally, I think he done quite well with what he was given, for sure. You'd definitely tell he's unhinged. However, just really bad s script, definitely. I mean, it tries to get you to make a feel sorry for him after, like, telling you... Like, dude, you've killed your grandma. You've killed your mom in the bathtub. And then you're going to cry and mourn on that you were taken away. It's like, I hate to tell you, but I think that was pretty justified for people to be rather concerned about them situations. Uh, and it's just like, and I think uh, Venom in this film is a bit more of a detective and journalist than Eddie Brock himself in this film. I mean, he pretty much sorts all of it out in the first five minutes and then Eddie sort of comes back to what Venom had done later on in the film after the have a fallout and go through the whole breakout scene thing with the relationship between 
Eddie and Venom. For all, I mean, it was the standout of the film for sure, but it kind of relies on that whole thing a little bit too much, in my opinion. It it really kind of drags on sometimes. It's like, yeah, I mean, okay, I get it. They don't like living with each other, you know. Kind of move on from that now. But, I mean, literally, uh, the whole lot of the film is literally all of that. And it's... Venom is like a bloody... Just a psychotic girlfriend sometimes. He's not... And as well with Venom, he's just so much basically an all-out comedic character. You just don't really feel all that frightened of him. And he gets quite kind of annoying at times with all these little quips and that. I mean, don't get us wrong, it's funny for the first part of the film and that, but it just, it gets a bit tiring. It's like, yeah, right, okay. And that's just, I just, I don't like what they've done with Venom at all in the film. Again, he's pretty much an all-out comedic character. He's, you're not all that terrified of him. Uh, and, like, you've probably seen it, I think it was in the trailer, or they put out a clip where he walks into a club with just a bunch of glow sticks around his neck. Uh, and everyone really, like, like, genuinely, like, he's there, standing, pretty much entering a nightclub with a load of glow sticks. I mean, not that you could stand out any more as Venom, but... And everyone genuinely believes that's a costume. No, I, I'm sorry, but that, that is definitely not a costume. And if you genuinely believe that, well, I don't know. Maybe the excuse is the drunk. I, I don't know. The, the ending looks better, I guess. But again, it just didn't really say it all. The ending of the first one looks horrendous, in my opinion. Uh it looks better, for sure, the CGI and everything. Like, when the symbiote is, like, bouncing off the skin because of the screeching and all that. Like, looks cool. Uh, and again, Connors doesn't look threatening, but you just don't see him do anything all that threatening. I mean, I, like, it shows you I'm about to kill people and everything, but it just you, you don't get that violence from it, which, is, again, Carnage and everything should show you that kind of stuff. But PG thirteen, and again, just with the completely crap script and everything, trying to get you to feel for these insanely psychotic characters. I mean, Screamo or whatever her name is, is like he help she helps Cletus kill all these people, and very happily doing so, by the way. And then a certain someone is about to kill a certain someone. No spoilers. And then she's just like, oh, oh no, that that's too far. That's too far, we can't do... It's like, it's just a joke, to be honest. I mean, how... It's terrible, terrible. And then also with Cletus, like... As well as trying to make you feel sorry for him with killing his man and all that. And then he got taken away, poor him. But then he's like, I just, I just wanted friendship. And it's just like... Trying to make you feel sorry, it just doesn't work. Obviously, with like some villains, you can kind of understand where they're coming from and everything, but they try to do that, yeah, with him, and it really just didn't didn't work at all because I certainly didn't feel sorry for him in the slightest. And just honestly, I just like zero interest in watching this thing again. Like I mean, zero. I I, I really won't be watching it again. And again, if you haven't seen the film, save yourself an hour and a half. Seriously, the only thing worth watching in this film is the end credit scene. Again, no spoilers in case you haven't seen it, you may have, but just it's like that's literally the only thing worth watching in this film. I think that kind of intrigues you a little bit to where the whole thing could possibly be going and characters being in certain things. Uh, but literally save yourself an hour and a half, seriously, and just watch that wherever, I don't know. I mean, watch this if it comes out on stream, and I suppose for sure, but... So yeah, Tom Hardy, Eddie Brock, I mean, again, same with Woody Harrelson, good with what they were given, but they just weren't given all that much, and I think that's a lot of the problem with some of the characters in that. There's a lot of good actors in this. Stephen Graham, absolutely great actor, great actor. Just not really given all that much. But, again, no spoilers, but maybe, like, kind of possibly leading to something. I don't know, but 
just in this film, just kind of wasted as like a, a really good actor. Honestly, I, I, I really wanted to like this film. And I did think I was going to. There was a, a lot of mixed opinions on it. And things that I'd seen, I was quite looking forward to watching, to making my own mind up and everything. But honestly, I just, I didn't like it. I was sitting there and I was noticeably bored. Like, I was literally, I was sitting like this. For a lot of it, because the characters are stupid. Nothing all that really interesting totally happens. It cuts away from all the the action. And yeah, it's just... I, I wouldn't even recommend going to see it only for the end credits. Just watch it wherever, when you can. Possibly watch this film on streaming, I suppose. Do not go to pay to see it in the cinema, in my opinion. So yeah, let us know in the comments if you've seen the film, did you enjoy it? I mean, I'm sure there is some people that did, and I, I hope you did. They're clearly going to be doing more with this character, but I just don't like what they've done with any of them. Uh, but yeah, let us know down below. Have you seen the film? Did you enjoy it? Thank you for watching, and have a great day.